Hello there, and as usual, I'm Aaron from Last Stand Gamers, and welcome. So over the last few videos, you guys have been requesting how I build the turrets for some of my larger ships. And I said, right, we've got to solve this issue, and we've got to get a tutorial out for them guys. So let's get started. I've built this in smaller segments, so you guys understand. And then we're going to actually build it from scratch over here. So first of all, you're going to have your ship's deck. And then you're going to need to build a sort of turret ring, so your actual landing gears and your area to attach it to your ship and secure it in place is safe from attack. So we move on to the actual attachment area. This is what's going to be attaching it to your ship. It's three blocks thick, so it can actually rim over this. And then we have the rotor here that will allow it to turn 360. Up here, we have the turret. The turret is going to be discussion probably about armor. Whenever armor blocks actually come in, we're going to be a lot safer for these turret designs. And then moving up, we're going to be talking about doing sort of different muzzle breaks for your cannon from sort of a plasma style to like a conventional muzzle break and then something from Star Wars you'd see. Anyway, let's get started. So the first thing you want to do is get your ship deck nice and prepared. So we're going to build a large ship here and we want an area of decking. So let's just cover that in gray. So there you go, nice and gray and let's build it a few more blocks wider. So there we go, there's the grate, and so we need to build the turret ring next. The turret ring is gonna be in yellow, because I think it's gonna look nicer in yellow. So here's the turret ring, and we wanna build this the size of our actual turret. So that is a pretty decent sized turret there. Massive turrets are not as effective as you may think. Like the one I've got on the Nightmare, that'll probably be a link in the description. The big turret is not the best the smaller turrets have a lot more firepower and a lot more maneuverability. So we move on to the next natural feature, and here we actually build a small ship inside. So get your small ship, and you want to expand this small ship so it fits in it, but it doesn't completely fill it, because we're just going to use this as a template for our actual connection. So we move this here, and that's probably good, and then we just need to do another segment to fill in this area here, like so. So we filled that in. Now control C that, move that over here hold that there let your camera steady and release and then delete this and now we need to build three layers three layers obviously so we can actually rim over the turret ring so there's one there is two and now we need to add the landing gears underneath and this is what's going to actually seal the deal for us here quite literally you could say and there we go and then you grab this night make sure you can see the landing gears underneath here and then you bring it into position. I'm going to just disable that and show you probably a better perspective, actually. I'm going to grab this. I'm going to grab it about here. This is the best place to grab it because you can see the landing gears. You see how it's locking and unlocking landing gears. You want to move this down here just so you can see them lock. You see that lock? It doesn't have to be perfectly center, but just get that lock in place. Now we can go and place a cockpit. So we place a cockpit on top. We press P to lock our landing gears. And now we have the base connected. So this is pretty simple now, all we do is fill in the gaps like so, and we make it look like it's almost flush with the deck. So this is really nice here, this is just basically some final finishing touches, so it doesn't look like it's actually a separate part, because you want it to feel more integrated into your ship's overall design. So we've got a final bit here to actually cover up, just getting the little block in place. Right, so now we've got to find the centre of this block, and I tend to do this by eye because it doesn't really matter if you're off too much at this stage. So I think the center is probably about, uh, probably we'll, call it, we'll call it there, shall we? I don't feel exactly center. So now we're gonna change color, and we're gonna actually build this. So when I build the turrets like this, what I do is I go right to the edge of the furthest little block we have, and then basically just build around like this on the perimeter. Something that you can also do is, I'll show you, you find the way that you want your turret to face, so I want my turret to face that way, and you get your line of symmetry up by pressing M, you click it in place, then you cycle back through, and then you have your line of symmetry. If your line of symmetry doesn't appear, press N again, you see how it's disappeared now, and then press N back and it'll appear. So now all we need to do is actually build this so it's actually symmetrical. A symmetrical turret is a lot more efficient than an unsymmetrical one because it's a lot harder to build otherwise. So all we have to do is let's save for a second and then we drag this across like so and we just connect up the turret. So the turret is basically ready to swing now. It's ready to start moving. Something that I always tend to do is now just quickly disable 
your thing and then get this block back in position we'll replace that light there and then what you want to do is start by rounding up the corners so each corner you just want to round it up really nicely and this will basically allow you to actually build the shape of the turret and make it a little bit more streamlined as I would say rather than building it and making it look really ugly and really square and boxy and that's what you want to avoid you want it to make it look more nice and smooth so we can actually get our line of symmetry back up by pressing N and now we start to build so we need to consider how tall the back of the turret needs to be at this stage and I think for this turret it'll be a nice low swept one and it'll probably be about that tall that looks like a pretty decent size and then what we'll do is we'll start constructing the front end and the rule I always have is this bottom level here needs to be at least one or two high so we fill in this little corner here like so with a little block then we use a number three block that's basically like this and then we just repeat basically so it's four and then it's going to be a three and it's going to be the same again and then we're just building this turret out of shell up so it's nice and smooth and really fits in with the actual design itself so one more up and then that was what I would say would be a decent sized turret ring and then you need to connect these up so just drag it up like that you've connected the sides we can delete that one I don't want it that tall and then you fill in the back backs filled in and then you can also fill in the floor so I'd fill in the floor at this point as well so the floor is now filled in and now the thing we need to consider consideration is how we're going to actually make this a little bit thicker so for more protection we press 8 and we need to build this up the side like so so what I do is I build this two like this two 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 and then build one across the top like that so you've actually got an upper part to your turret ring and then seal it all up like so so just seal it up and there we go it's pretty much sealed now we just need to work on the outer armor make sure it's thick enough so what I do is drag like so and then that's basically the turret ready to go so we'll get rid of that line of symmetry now and what we need to do is build a motor if you've still got the line of symmetry on, I'll show you this is what happens if you forget to take the line of symmetry off. You'll build a motor on both sides, like so. And then you'll go, oh, I'll delete that one, and then you and then it just goes stupid. So you need to just turn your line of symmetry off. Get that in position. Make sure this is on the edge, because the more further on the edge, the more up and down motion it'll actually have. And then build a joint. But we're going to change our color to green. So there we go. That is our joint beam. And then we find the center and once again we find the sort of symmetrical line and then basically we get ourselves to this stage and then we either build our gun like this, this is going to be a three barrel gun and then you leave a space like so and then you build one on top and then one on the bottom now the one on the bottom you need to take into consideration will it actually hit this bottom area, if it does then you don't have to account for that, there you go so it's actually hit that so I'm going to take that out there so it can actually fit through and obviously it'll give it a bit more movement up and down so now we need to build the inner one so there we go one in and a rule I always try to keep is always leave three dots between each cannon or each sort of shell because that will allow you to fit a little command and control center in there and you'll be able to use it so there we go and we need to do a little bit of editing there and now we add a number eight and now this is just pretty simple all you're doing is rounding off each barrel so it looks nice and tidy really so you round that barrel off you round that barrel off then you do the same with the top so you do that give it that one oh drag there we go drag again and there's all barrels completed. I think we've done them all. I know we need to we missed this little bit here. Right, so now the next thing is the gun shield. Okay, so the gun shield needs to start like this. So you build an angle, and this is going to protect what's actually inside the turret. So I delete a little bit here and then uh, build it within the actual turret for added protection. And then what you do here is you simply build it across there. And then what you may want to do is it's up to you, is you leave a little gap and then you can just basically build a cross like so and then basically you've got a gun shield start and then you just need to build it up at the back so building it up in the back is as simple as just sliding in like so and then getting a block across and then we need a number eight 
and then we bring that across. So the gun shield's basically in place. All we have to do is put a different end on and then build the actual cannon tips, you could say. So for this one, I'm going to go with a nice, simple, sort of round, smoothbore barrel, and then we're going to add a little bit of fanciness to it with a, maybe a muzzle break or something of some kind. And there we go. And I'll quickly build you up, sir. And an eight, please. Uh, where we go? There we go. There we go. And there we go. So now we just need to add, fancy this up a little bit. And there's loads of ways of doing this. You can obviously add like little booster bits, like so, and then uh, maybe have another eight on the end, and then do the same for all these barrels. And this could just look really, really menacing. I mean, the cannon itself is a scare weapon. I mean, if someone sees something like this on your ship, they might just run away because they don't know what the hell you've been building. So there we go. And finally, we need to fix that last barrel. And there we go. So that is pretty much it for the actual building of it. And we'll get rid of that. And now it is down to actually making this thing work. And you're probably now a little bit scared because this is where you make or break it, basically. And we'll make ourselves a little bit of an entrance in here. And there is the rear of the cannon. So this is why I said build it three apart, and this is why it's important. So you start carving out the seat where your actual man is going to be sitting to actually operate this. And then what you want to do is remember that it's three along, and then build one back like so. And then build your cockpit in here. So just make sure he's fit. he fits. And fit a little bit more on the side there. And then that should be perfect. And then just secure, secure him in. The best you can and then basically there shouldn't be any breaches into this area and then it's all about adding gyroscopes now so we need to just gyroscope this part up gyroscope that part up gyroscope all along there get one or two gyroscopes here 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 because this is going to be the main pivot arm and this will also control the rotation at the bottom and then we build a small reactor we can have, you can have about two of these, that's all you really need. And then this should be fully functioning. One thing I nearly forgot though, rockets. Now, people put these in the wrong way, okay? And this is the way they should go, like so, and they'll fire out that way. They should have this little bit at the back, that bit at the front, and then it's really simple. You've already got an empty barrel, so you just need to fill this up like so. There we go. And then fill this barrel up filling it up, make sure they str they're still coming out the right way. Then finally you've got the last one to fill up. There we go. So all barrels are full. Cockpit is in position. You can even build yourself some let's build some iron sights on this one, shall we? Because I've never done I've never built iron sights on one of these babies yet. So it'll be a little bit of an experiment to see how it to see how it goes. So we'll build that. We need the radar array. Radar array, radar array, there you go. And there's there's the lower iron sight, and then we need to put one, probably about one up, and then put that across like so. But we need an eight. And then we'll have to build another eight here, and then build that there, and then a six. So this should be a very nice iron sight setup for firing this thing. So we'll check this out. I'm hundred percent. It'll work. Right, so there we go. We've got an iron sight, and we've got rotation in the cannon. It's a little bit slow. You can always speed these up by actually, um, how to say, putting more gyroscopes in them. So let's actually do a test fire. Three, and then let's hope this actually fires the right way, and I wasn't talking bollocks. There we go. That's a test fire. That's a success, I'd say, of this weapon system. And see if we can actually get a third person here. There we go. So we've got like a fully functional turret. We've got up and down motion and we've got turning. And then we've got firing as well. So this is a great way of arming your ships. So thanks for watching, guys. I'm going to whack this up on the Steam Workshop. So if you're still having trouble, like I say, break it and then fix it. All right. So I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.